to create a device, we go to device templates. Under the system devices, we select the D20MX. In the D20MX, we select the version 1.6. In version 1.6, we select new installation. We drop it in the open workspace of the page. Under the device, we will uh, get a device creation wizard. In the device creation wizard, we have to give it a name. So we'll name this one my D20 uh, MX. It's a LAN device. If there is redundancy, we'll enable the redundancy. If there's any license applicable, we'll enable the license. Otherwise, we just click Next. And in here, we have one segment basically enabled of network. So we're going to put a, a number for it. So let's say 192.168.1.0. And for a network mask will be 255.255.255.0. Then we click Next. We confirm the board number matches our board number. And we confirm that the firmware is the firmware that we wanted as a target. We can go then to LAN settings under LAN specific. I'm okay with this IP address of 2.1 for my device. And then we look at our services and we look at the ports that are enabled. With everything done, we can click finish. And our sample device is ready to be generated. Because this is a network device, we go to the 100% generate menu. And now our device has been generated. I've connected my USB into COM4, which is connected to my D20MX. So now I can connect to it. In order to connect to it, I would have to set up my options of connection. So I will set it to direct serial, select the COM port, which is COM4 in this case. And then under the port settings, I have to set up the baud rate to 9600. And I can enable the fast download of 115200. It will automatically switch to that baud rate. And then we click OK. Now we can connect to the device. We click Connect. We'll allow the device to start up. So we turn on the device. device is going through a boot sequence at this time and once the boot sequence is done we can log in to the device if the device has a special name and password then you need to get it otherwise um, you can put the default name and password if that works with it uh, I'm in a lab environment so I will use the default name and password when I get the prompt Okay, so at this time I've got the prompt. I'll put in the default name and password. Login, go to the shell, and now I'm able to download my configuration. So I will click on the sync to device or press F7. The transfer of the configuration to the device will start. Of course, because we checked the high baud rate of download, uh, it's downloading at 115200. And then we can click on the boot to restart the device. Now my device is restarting. If everything was done properly, then we should be able to see um, the prompt uh, and proper booting again. And our 
your device is ready for a startup. Press enter and put normal name and password. Now we can go to the shell. So we check first that the IP address is set up properly 192.168.2.1 per our settings that we have put into the device. Then we can go to the shell and type the IMG command. We can see that the firmware version is proper and um, the right JMON uh, application is there. We can go out of the prompt by typing exit. And if you want to log out, as you can see, control L will allow you to log out. So press control L and logged out. That's it. This is how you make a sample configuration and download it.